Oh, it's all gone a little bit pear-shaped here. We just just didn't make it. I don't know how far from town we are, but this thing just absolutely pummeled. So yeah, she's pretty slippery. And um, yeah, spewing. We're not even that far from town. But we'll have to kind of figure out what to do here because mum's car is just 100% not going to go through there and this trailer was slipping around pretty badly. So... I just can't believe how quickly it turned to shit. It just, just goes to show as soon as there's any type of rain just get off this dirt out here because it's just, it's just insane. Righto. So the aftermath. Managed to get a couple of uh, couple of the workers to come down here. I was very self-conscious about totally destroying their road. So anyway, got him on the radio. He came down to have a look, and um, yeah, he said, "Who cares, mate? Just punch this berm down." So jam the uh, jam the trailer and the Luxie through there, no problem. And um, then there was Mum's problem, getting Mum out. So Michelle we got in there. She whacked it in reverse and got it back up as far as we could. And there we go, just got my shell to reverse back up to there and hooked the winch up to the back of mum's car and basically just dragged it through there, back up onto the bitumen. So she was a bit, uh, <laughs> she was a bit, how you going? But the, uh, the local lads, more than happy to help out, didn't really care about the road, but they've informed us that it's cut back that way, back towards the corner. Creeks come across the road and wash it all away. And uh, only up the road here on the top of the next rise is where the um, bitumen ends. And uh, there's seven k's to town and it's cut as well. So we're apparently camping on the bitumen tonight. And unless it gets, he said, unless it gets sun for the rest of the day, which it hasn't yet, yeah. and um, the wind picks up, we are, uh, yeah, we're on the road for the night. And um, he said, if we get any more rain, we on the road tomorrow. We're camping Lucky on the road again got tomorrow. Wine, rum, and food. Yeah. So we're good. Yeah, we are good. No issues. No problem at all. <laughs> Just not the ideal spot to camp. Oh, now there's a rainbow. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> anyway. Forward, onward. Poor old Lux is going to need a good clean. Look at this shit. I won't knock that off on their road. They'll probably fall off. But that's good. Uh, that's a good six inch, eight inches thick. That is all up here. Jesus Christ! Spewing. Anyway, that's what happens. Adventuring. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> that's hilarious. How'd you go, Mum? No. No. <laughs> I'm loving it. Mum needs some sort of pill. Just <laughs> <laughs> red wine. <laughs> I'm loving it, really. Now, now she's back on the bitumen. She's got a smile yeah. on her face. <laughs> yeah. This is why Doris is the red dirt girl. It's red mud girl now. But anyway, we got out. Could have been, uh, yeah, if that rain was any or lasted any longer, we might have been in some real strife. Flash flood came down the road from the creek up the road. The hail was good. The hail, I got a bit worried about that too, to be honest. I thought it was going to smash the window. I got a bit big there for a minute. About the size of five cent pieces. But anyway, clearing skies. Hopefully they do clear and uh, we'll be all good. But yeah, I might uh, turn around and go down the other end and have a look, eh? What a strange turn of events. This is camp for the night. So she's closed that way. Closed that way. We're stuck in the middle. And we've uh, had this really nice bottle of wine and we've been waiting to, uh, for a special occasion and so we thought, well, this probably isn't going to happen again, hopefully, <laughs> but it's pretty funny. And, and Sue needs some sedation. <laughs> Mum's a bit off her tree at the moment, so Michelle reckons this no, should I'm sort not. it out, but we'd like to enjoy this tonight on this very, uh, I won't say once in a million, maybe one in a hundred... Uh, Little predicaments we're in camping on the bitumen. Fancy box. Look at 
of this is very pretty for us. It is. It's a bit fancy though. I know. Shall we crack it? Yep. I can't okay. see, so Tim just takes like half the bottle. No. There you go. You've got rum still. Yeah, that's right. So just give me a little bit. Wine, so you can have the rest. All right. Okay. Well, we should get a good sunset. <laughs> we didn't come for nothing. Hopefully there's no more rain. Otherwise, we might be bloody here again tomorrow, he reckons. So anyway. This bloody red clay, red dirt, goes to absolute a slippery mess. There's a couple more stranded down there. One poor bloke reckons he's got to get back to Sydney, he's on a time limit, so he's going to attempt to go back north. Because they reckon they had no rain about five minutes back down the road. But anyway, we've just conceded and we're just going to be here and that'll be us. And we'll just enjoy. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty random. But, uh, yeah. Cheers to the adventure, guys. Ching, ching. <laughs> Cheers. We've got another storm cell coming out over the back. We might not be, uh, we might be in for round two yet. Woke into a beautiful day. I've had some breakfast on camp. Forget what the highway's called. We're all ready to get moving again. Give this road another hour or so, and then we'll attempt to, uh, attempt to get into Tibibara. So old mate in the caravan who was here earlier, he's uh, he's gone through, said it's pretty slippery. But um, we'll be right, it's just mum's bus unfortunately, so we'll have to wait for that. But anyway, nice spot out here in the bush. Just enjoy the last couple of hours here before we motor into town and we'll have to come up with a plan for what we're going to do. But um, I think she needs a wash down. It's, um, I don't know, we might even just book into a caravan park. Maybe not. <laughs> we'll just see what happens. It's probably a bit too soon to go to Broken Hill, but unfortunately it's probably these storms, and the storms are uh, forecast for tonight and tomorrow night, for the next three days. And um, it's unfortunately probably, uh, or has, put a dint in the uh, plans of going to Cameron Corner, so that'll have to wait. Um, it's all closed out here now. This road's closed now. Uh, Sturt National Park is closed. So, um, Apparently the road south into Broken Hills closed as well, but uh, it should be open again today, they reckon. So, yeah, we'll just go to Tipperbar and see if I can get this hose down at least and uh, come up with plan B. Two-wheel drive, stunt driver. Up, up yep. Made it to Tuberborough. We're going to the pub, aren't we, though? Oh, undies. <laughs> Have a pub lunch. We're all set up. Wow. We're all set up at the bloody, uh, what's this? Basically the town camping area slash caravan park slash, I don't know, the only place in town really, I think. Oh, it's Got a nice little uh, rocky outcrop behind us. That'll have a good, um, good sunset spot up there somewhere. A few billy goats running around. This is Tibibara, we made it. So we waited till 10 o'clock and then we were able to get through. I let mum's tyres down to about 15 pound and um, made it through the mud relatively easy. There's only a couple of little puddles left. But yeah, it's bloody hot. And the road to, uh, road to Broken Hill's shut. So apparently it's opening after lunch. We'll be at the pub and we'll see what uh, we'll see what she's like tomorrow. We're supposed to get more storms tonight, but the bloke at the roadhouse doesn't believe them. And it's just clear skies and it's not as humid as it was yesterday. It's still bloody hot, but not humid. So uh, yeah, we might be in for a beautiful day and a beautiful night. And we'll head on into Broken Hill tomorrow. So that'll be good. Anyway, have a shower before I go to the pub though, because I stink. <laughs> 